Hey and welcome back in this video tutorial we're gonna take a look how to create this black metal with some rust on it on the edges so here's a one rendering and here's another and what else we're gonna, gonna learn how to add that material to your material list so then every time you open the sketchup you'll have that material so basically this is a very um, a uh, good tutorial that's what I think and uh, you can add any of your materials you make your own brick you make your own thing so once you made it one time you just add it into your collection and you have it there every time you open so let's go right into it okay so the first step we we're gonna do uh, we start with just a regular color and we want to take the very material just empty uh, color and we're gonna add here um we want a dirt dirt uh, dirt material so we have now a dirt material first thing we want to do is we want to uv map it properly so we're gonna go here we can, can check our option this is one option it looks pretty good and the other option is the second one to fit I don't know, I think the first one is a little bit better, but it's up to you. You can do also uh, hand a better job, but for us, this is just just good. Just, we're going to scale the map to 30. So now we have this material. Now we want to have like, it's like a black paint, and in the edges we have some rust in the edges. So if, if we go to the material, so basically the white is our paint so we're gonna have black paint and then here we want to um, load a material so I download some maps from uh, polygon.com um, he has uh, I'm gonna put the, the 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 link in the description he has very good um, materials very high quality so I have here rust uh, 3k so we get we're gonna use this one for the um, uh, for the diffuse so now we have this dirt that it's black on the color and on the edge we have this rust so that the rust so now the radius we can change a little bit or so we we're gonna try to start with half half inch so we have this black with the radius so now if we render um, the material let's see what we get now there's no reflection obviously and there's no a uh, bump or anything else this is just the diffuse and as you can see we have like a small dirt coming out and this is the first part so this is okay with me I think uh, if you want a little bit more you can do a little bit more but for this uh, this material we'll just leave it like this so I'm gonna copy this dirt. I'm gonna copy this dirt material, and I'm gonna go to the map, and I'm gonna add a bump map. And here I'm gonna add. I'm gonna place it here. Now we have here this rust material, but we don't want that because we have um, we have a rust material like this. We have a normal map. So we're gonna choose the normal map, and. Uh, so basically what we have here and we can make the radius a little bit bigger so it's gonna be bumpy bump a little bit more higher the bump and then and the edge will be really bumpy go slowing down and then the color will be f uh, like fully so basically like the metal and 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 most part it's gonna be good but some of it will be a little bit more rusty so um, the amount bump we can do it like 0.35 something like this so now we have also bump this uh, the, the not, another thing we need to add is reflection so now on the reflection instead of have so we're not gonna touch the frets now we're just gonna add here on on the color we're gonna add this same um, bump map so basically um, and reflection it's the opposite so if you want to have reflection you need to have white and here we have the same map the color map that we took from the diffuse but we don't want that so what we want we want to add a color correction so we can control the amount of uh, reflection 
and we want to add the reflection map that comes in the package. So this is the reflection map. So we have now a reflection map and also um, a color. We have some control. So if we want to do it a tiny bit brighter, so we can do just like that. And now we can see maybe uh, take down the white so it won't be so shiny and take down the the uh, ref reflect uh, high glossy and refraction glossy so it won't be so so shiny so now let's test render this and this should be much better now for my opinion this is a little bit too flashy and shiny so I'm gonna uh, just adjust it and just uh, just a bit but let's see the final resort but just starting off like this it looks for me a little bit um, shiny and here you can see the bump going a little bit more uh, out and then you can see some of the rust and the shiny um, the shine so I think this is enough so basically, um, what we want to do now, we want to adjust the um, the color. So basically, here we have some black. So I think what we should do is we should make it even darker and not have so much reflection. Maybe and have some contrast maybe something like this and so basically this will be uh, and here maybe to take it down so we won't have any really strong reflections anywhere and maybe this those ref uh, the high and the glossy a notch down so we get a little bit more subtle reflection and not so strong reflection now this is up to you and you can test it and see what works for you better and I think I'm gonna do another test bench Okay, so here are a second test bench and I apply the material and now when I render you can see um, it's more this is more like a small structure of like let's say beams I beams that were um, outside and they got some so as you can see this is very nice uh, how that the rust started here with a lot of bump and then it's it's just okay uh, and here the same thing and the screws are really nice and all this area is really nice so I think it's a good material so the second uh, so now we have this rust material and now the main part of the tutorial what we want to do is we have this rust material so let's just uh, sh change the name rename it and we're gonna call it rust R black rust we're gonna call it So we're just going to call it black rust. So now we have this black rust and we want to save it so we can just click save material. So we're just going to put it on the desktop and we're going to open a new folder and we're going to call it rust. And now we can just go inside and save black rust. Okay, so for now this is okay. And now the, 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 the last part of the tutorial is... You need to go to um, to your computer and find on program files where. So basically, it's better if you close all the SketchUp and that you have. So I'm just gonna save this, and now I I'm gonna look f on program files for the SketchUp. So that'll be in KS Group and V-Ray, and now I have V-Ray for SketchUp and under Extensions Materials. So now I have all the materials. So basically I'm going to put it in in the middle. 
So I'm gonna open my my Rust folder and I'm just gonna go like this, gonna attach it here so you can guys see it and I'm gonna go on the desktop and I have my Rust material. So basically I'm gonna drag it here and it's gonna ask me this question if I'm sure I wanna do it. So I'm just gonna say yes and here I'm gonna go to the maps and I'm gonna take those maps and I'm gonna draft them here and I'm gonna continue and continue. And I don't have it. So it didn't work because I, when I copied this, instead of clicking continue, I, I clicked uh, skip. So that's why it didn't work. And uh, yeah, sometimes it happens. So now let's hope it will work. Okay, so I started SketchUp and now if I go to um, my V-Ray material and if I go to um, metal and I'm going to black rust and I got my black rust. Uh, if you like the video, just thumbs up. It helps, uh, I don't know, it helps for the alg algorithm. And also if you comment, I read all your comments. Thank you very much. Enjoy the video.